Hi people, we're not away from the kitchen as always. Um, in this video, as I have suggest, I'm briefly going to touch upon the subject of um, reading someone, the art of reading someone. Now, by definition, reading someone. Um, hold on, I feel like wearing glasses. Give me a second. Yeah, <clears throat> now I feel better for some reason. In any, <laughs> in any case. Reading someone, reading someone by definition simply means um, as an as a clairvoyant psychic or occult uh, practice. Simply stands for picking up someone's thoughts and their intentions and uh, in theory their actions. So essentially, you want to know what someone is doing or what they're thinking. You simply go like this, and you're like. Mm. <laughs> That's pretty much it, and yes, it's an art. It's just a, a basic occult exercise that anybody can do as long as they have psychic or clairvoyant capabilities. Uh, the effectiveness, as always, or better said, as any other, similar to any other exercise, depends on how skilled you are, your natural ability, your psychic or clairvoyant level, your level of intuition, your level of insight, etc. All the usual faculties that you need to be successful in any occult exercise or undertaking. And for those of you that want to know how to do it, it's quite simple. You simply will yourself to do it. So if you want to read someone, you literally just will yourself. For example, you have a friend called Mark. Your intent is all that's needed as in, hey, listen, I want to read Mark. I want to know what Mark is doing. You just say that to yourself, either out loud if you're alone, preferably, or better said in your head. That's a much better option. So just literally go like, hey, I want to know what Mark is doing. What's he doing? And then you just focus on what comes to you. Um, generally speaking, obviously, your mind needs to be quiet. You need to be able to differentiate uh, your own thoughts uh, from that of what you're picking up on, which is not hard to do, honestly, because you know your own thoughts. Usually mundane stuff will come into your mind like... Um, like what you had for dinner, stuff like that. Obviously, that doesn't count. Uh, but generally speaking, listen, if you do something like this, then your mind is focused. So it's not something you have to worry about. Your astral body slash mind is focused. So you don't have to worry about mundane thoughts entering your head. And then you simply see what you can come up with. What comes to you is essentially what, um, what the exercise is given to you. But now, to go into detail in relation to this, let it be clear. That's why I said earlier in theory, that when you, sorry, when you do this, right, you're not picking up on a person's actions. You're picking up on the person's brainwave activity, hypothetically speaking. So you're picking up on something that the person has done in the past, is doing, or uh, the least likeliest of ones, what the person might be doing in the future in terms of intentions. That's what you're picking up on. You're picking up on the person's intent. So if you read someone and you're getting the image that, for example, the person um, is having breakfast or dinner or something, then that means that the person's intentions either have been geared towards that, uh, which is quite common, obviously, especially if the person is someone that you know has breakfast every morning, just like most other people. It's nothing special to say the least. Uh, or the person is having breakfast or dinner at that time. But like I said, there is, with this exercise, generally speaking, there is no way to know what the person is literally doing. That's because this exercise, just like all the other basic clairvoyant exercises that give away information, so divina divinations, they don't make use of science. They exclusively make use of, um, of one's own astral faculties, one's own spiritual faculties. So similar to scrying, similar to this, similar to that, when it comes to reading people, you're not seeing essentially what the person is doing in real time. I'm not saying that that's not doable, but generally speaking, that's not the case. I'm speaking from personal experience. You're picking up on that person's intent. So what that person is either thinking about or what that person wants to do or similar. You're picking up on, those, on that person's intentions. Okay, whether these intentions are actually followed through and, and result in physical action is a different story altogether. But bottom line is you're picking up on that person's actions. Like I said, generally speaking, you're picking up on brainwave activity as in what are the person's thoughts, what's the person doing as in what, the, you know, if someone goes like, hmm, you know, I wish I, I could go to the park to get uh, 
something to eat at like a, a mini waffle house that's there or something like that or a food carton or something like that blah 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 then uh, uh, I mean a food cart you name it then that's what you're going to be picking up in general you'll either like see you'll get a glimpse of a flash of a hot dog in your head or the person eating a hot dog that's what you're picking up on intentions okay so and intentions are subject based so by subject based I mean that you need to keep the general consensus in mind as in food these are keywords food sex um, romance love um, anything you can think of uh, friendship um, leisure entertainment <laughs> yeah just ignore that um, and that's essentially it I mean Nothing else really comes to mind in relation to this exercise. Like I said, how accurate you are depends on your level of clairvoyance, like I said earlier. It depends on how skilled you are, how much experience you have in doing this, just like any other thing. Generally speaking, the more you read people or try to read people, the better you'll get. If, you're, if you have little to no experience and your level of clairvoyance is already not the best, then you'll pick up on stuff that honestly won't seem to make a lot of sense, theoretically speaking. Um, because you, what you'll be doing, you'll be picking up, for example, you'll be picking up something from the past, something that happened five years ago. You'll be picking up on, on the most superficialist of intentions the person has that uh, is unlikely to, 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 to be something that the person thinks twice about even. For example, buying a knife, buying a, buying a, a sword. Um, and that, make, no, make no mistake, this includes malevolent intentions, okay, or the intentions that seem malevolent. But the fact of the matter and the truth of the matter is that a lot of people think about a lot of stupid stuff throughout the day, like even killing someone, stuff like that, deep, really dark stuff in general, but stuff that has no basis. You know, it's just a thought that crosses your mind literally in less than a blink of an eye, to put it that way. So not something that you worry about or think about or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, that's what reading a person is in general and that's how it goes. And like I said, the more skilled you become, especially if you have developed strong bonds with other people, bonds of a spiritual nature, then you'll generally speaking, if you have enough knowledge and experience to practice and whatnot, and again knowledge, then you'll find that things will come to you. As in, you'll be able to pick up on people's thoughts. But you need to be high level for this, okay? Make no mistake, it won't just happen overnight. You need to be really experienced and you need your level of clairvoyance needs to be really, really high. Uh, as in on a scale of zero to 10, at least a seven or up. Uh, usually it will be like, what, an eight and a half before you actually get that. In any case, especially people that you have a strong bond with, generally speaking, without you wanting that to be the case even, uh, their intentions will come to you. So you can, for example, be doing, going about your own business. So be doing something that's pertaining to your personal life. And then all of a sudden you'll be like, huh? Because you'll, you'll example, you'll feel someone's intentions and you're like, huh? Wait a minute, that's Mark. He wants to go to the mall later on, okay. That's what I'm talking about because believe me, it has happened to me. Uh, but yeah, that's because it's me, you know, at my level. I don't even have a lot of experience with this exercise, but and the thing is that I wasn't even serious about it. I just started reading people for fun as in, hmm, let me see what the person is doing. Because it's easy. It's literally so baseline that I don't even know where to begin. It's like it's so basic for me. All you have to do is literally just will yourself as in, hey, what's this person thinking? Hmm. And you'll pick up on stuff. But like I said, it's reliant on the factors, like, like I already said twice. It's reliant on what, on all the aforementioned uh, conditions or factors. And, um, and yeah, that's essentially it. So see you guys later. Bye.